Ever wondered what keeps an 80,000 pound semi truck and trailer moving safely down the highway? There's one unsung hero that makes it all possible the fifth wheel. Without it, these massive machines would be stranded. Today, we're diving into the heart of what makes a semi truck work, revealing the secrets behind the fifth wheel and the kingpin two parts with one essential job, keeping the truck and trailer working as one. Stick around because by the end, you'll understand how this tiny piece is one of the most crucial parts of the entire truck. So let's break it down. The fifth wheel is a massive circular steel plate you'll find at the back of a semi truck's tractor. It's tough, durable, and positioned at just the right height to connect to its partner on the trailer, the kingpin. But it's not just about attaching the two. The fifth wheel is designed to pivot, helping the truck smoothly maneuver turns without the trailer ever breaking free. The fifth wheel isn't a fifth wheel at all, it's the critical pivot point. It's named after the ancient carriage design that added a fifth wheel-like mechanism for better turning. And though today's fifth wheels don't resemble a wheel, they function to give trucks that same smooth flexibility when turning. What about the kingpin? Picture it as a heavy-duty steel pin attached to the trailer. Think of it as the anchor. It's what slots into the fifth wheel's locking jaws, securing the trailer to the tractor. Here's where it gets interesting. The kingpin isn't just for strength. It's also built to handle extreme pressure and weight, and even more, it needs to allow for pivoting. Once it locks in, the truck and trailer become one solid unit, stable enough to handle the twists, turns, and rough roads that are the reality of long-haul trucking. In short, the kingpin's job is to bear tons of pressure but still allow enough movement to keep everything moving smoothly. Now, if you've ever seen a truck backing up to a trailer, you'll notice it's an intricate process, and it all centers on getting that kingpin into the fifth wheel. Here's how it works. Lining up the connection. The driver backs up, aligning the tractor with the trailer. The kingpin has to slide perfectly into the fifth wheel's center cutout, which looks like a big heavy-duty horseshoe. Locking mechanism. Once the kingpin is in place, the fifth wheel's locking jaws close around it, holding the trailer securely. There's a release handle on the fifth wheel that the driver can pull when it's time to disconnect the trailer. Safety first. To ensure it's locked, the driver does a tug test by gently pulling forward. This check ensures the kingpin is fully engaged, because any hitch in the connection would be dangerous. Modern trucks even have lock indicators to confirm that it's all set. So, the fifth wheel is not just a hitch, it's a precision coupling mechanism that locks the truck and trailer together, holds weight securely, and lets the entire vehicle pivot around turns. Every time a driver changes loads, the fifth wheel has to withstand this connection process. Imagine the power needed to stop a fully loaded semi-truck on a dime. The fifth wheel and kingpin handle an incredible amount of stress in both acceleration and braking. Without a secure connection, trailers could easily break loose, causing deadly accidents. That's why the fifth wheel locking jaws are made from incredibly durable high-strength steel designed to take the repeated stress of tons of cargo on every trip. The sliding mechanism on the fifth wheel can be adjusted to balance weight over the truck's axles, reducing wear and tear, improving fuel efficiency, and meeting weight distribution laws. This simple adjustment helps the truck avoid costly fines and enhances driving stability. Not all fifth wheels are created equal. Here's a breakdown of the three most common types you'll find on the road. Sliding fifth wheels. As mentioned, these allow for adjustable positioning to change weight distribution. They're perfect for maximizing payload and efficiency on different types of hauls. Fixed fifth wheels. Found on trucks with consistent loads, these fifth wheels are bolted down and don't move, making them simpler and slightly lighter but with less flexibility. Tilting fifth wheels. These fifth wheels tilt to accommodate uneven terrain or tricky coupling angles, minimizing stress on the connection and making it easier for the driver. Each type is designed with different needs in mind, but all share one goal, keeping the truck and trailer moving as a single powerful machine. You might be wondering, with all the tech advancements in trucking, is the fifth wheel about to get an upgrade? In fact, new fifth wheels with remote lock sensors, automatic release mechanisms, and more advanced safety features are being developed to streamline the coupling process and improve safety even further. Some fifth wheels are now integrating digital monitoring systems to detect wear, giving drivers real-time feedback on their fifth wheel's condition. 
This advancement not only improves safety, but also cuts down on downtime for maintenance. Next time you see a semi-truck hauling down the highway, you'll know that it's not just brute strength moving that load. It's an engineering marvel in the form of the fifth wheel and kingpin, keeping everything running smoothly. Share this video with your friends who love learning about the inner workings of trucks, and hit that subscribe button for more in-depth dives into the world of trucking. Leave a comment if you've seen these systems in action, or if you've got any stories from the road.